Well, the total eclipse may be history, but some people say they're still seeing the effects of the sun. And one eye doctor explains what might be going on. Our Tom Mustin live in Denver. Tom, you talked to a doctor. What did he have to say? Well, yesterday, people across the state gathered in places like Civic Center Park here to witness the eclipse firsthand. And now we've learned that a day later, even some people who wore these special eclipse glasses are feeling the burn. You can have a seat right here. Josh Sparks says Monday's eclipse was the event of a lifetime. It was, it was a, a mind altering experience. Like thousands of other Coloradans, Josh drove to Wyoming to experience the eclipse firsthand. He wore protective glasses, but removed them briefly to take a series of pictures. Now he's paying for it. After the eclipse was over, I started feeling kind of like I had stared at the sun. When I went to bed last night, I woke up and I had some swelling, some pain on my eyes, and I thought, shoot, I got better get into the eye doctor. We're going to have you take a look at that chart over there. We caught up with Josh in the office of Dr. Raul Alderetti. This gentleman is not alone. A day after the eclipse, Alderetti and his fellow eye doctors are seeing patients worried about damage to their eyes suffered during the event. This is a healthy retina here. Without protection, the intense light of the sun can cause permanent damage to the retina, and in extreme cases, Blindness is so strong and so intense that it can cause damage to a tissue that does not regenerate. Alderetti believes tens of thousands of people may have suffered some kind of eye damage. And we're going to be pretty busy everywhere between Salem and Charleston. He says in most cases, people simply suffered sunburn of the eyes, a minor discomfort that will eventually go away. Again, Meanwhile, said, Josh again. says no, he's no, already no, planning no, for the next no, eclipse in 2024, you know. and he's learned his lesson. If I go, I'm leaving the camera at home. <laughs> and some good news about Josh, we've learned that his eyes did check out and he's expected to make a full recovery. But if you have any eye issues, don't hesitate to call your eye doctor. We're live in Denver tonight. Tom Mustin covering Colorado First.